Hello children let's learn fractions today let's see what are the topics covered equivalent fractions checking for equivalent fractions reducing equivalent fractions type of fractions conversion of improper fractions and mixed fractions conversion of mixed fractions into improper fractions comparisons of fractions addition of fractions subtraction of fractions in class 3 we have learned about the basic concepts of fractions a fraction is an equal part of a whole and part of a collection you can see four circles below when a whole object or group is divided into equal parts then a part is called a fraction of that whole each fraction is written in numerator form on the top and denominator in the bottom for example 5 by 6 the upper part of a fraction is called numerator the lower part of a fraction is called the denominator now let's see fractions on the number line fractions can also be shown on the number line below here is the number line which shows numbers from 0 to 10 A proper fraction such as 5 by 6 has a value less than 1 so it will be found in the space between 0 and 1 an improper fraction whose value is greater than 1 will find a place to the right side of 1 let us learn how to mark fractions on the number line the space between 0 and 1 is divided into number of equal parts In the example given below the space between 0 and 1 is divided into 10 equal parts each point represent the fractions as shown below now here are some more examples in the number line shown below the space between 0 and 1 is divided into 9 equal parts and the sixth part is shown for you therefore the point represents 6 by 9 In this number line below the space between 0 and 1 is divided into 5 equal parts the third point is shown from 0 it shows 3 by 5 the ninth point from 0 it shows 9 by 5 it can also be written as 1 4 by 5 now let's learn what are equivalent fractions fractions having the same value are called equivalent fractions now we have taken three pizzas and we have cut the pizzas into three different parts now we will observe that the fractions are different but they show the same number of parts from the whole that are taken out so we say that 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 and 2 by 4 is equal to 3 by 6 a quick tip equivalent means with equal value Now let's see some examples. Find the two equivalent fractions for 1 by 2. The pictorial representation of the equivalent fractions are given below. Now we say 1 by 2 is equal to the numerator and denominator. If it is multiplied by number 2, is equal to 2 by 4. Now again, 1 by 2 is equal to the numerator and denominator. If it is multiplied by number 3, is equal to 3 by 6. Thus, 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 is equal to 3 by 6. These are all equivalent fractions. To find the equivalent fractions, we must multiply or divide the numerator and denominator in the fraction by the same number. Now, let's see example. Find the equivalent fraction for 15 by 20. Solution: We divide. both the numerator and the denominator by the number 5 so we get 15 divided by 5 the numerator becomes 3 and denominator 20 divided by 5 becomes 4 so we get 3 by 4 thus 15 by 20 is equal to 3 by 4 these are equivalent fractions from the above example we see the equivalent fractions have an equal value Now let's see checking for equivalent fractions. To check 
whether two fractions are equivalent or not, we cross multiply them. If we get the same answer, then the fractions are equivalent fractions. Let's see an example. Check whether 1 by 2 and 3 by 6 are equivalent fractions. Solution. Check the cross product of 1 by 2 and 3 by 6. That is, you multiply 1 by 6 and multiply 2 by 3. 1 into 6 is equal to 6 and 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. Hence, 1 by 2 and 3 by 6 are equivalent fractions. Let's see an example. Check whether 3 by 4 and 5 by 6 are equivalent fractions. Solution. So you multiply, so 3 multiplied by 6, it gives you 18 and 4 multiplied by 5 gives you 20. 18 is not equal to 20. Since the products are not equal, we say 3 by 4 and 5 by 6 are not equivalent fractions. Now let's learn reducing equivalent fractions. When we divide a fraction by the highest common factor, of the numerator and denominator, we get the fraction in lowest terms. Now let's see some examples. Reduce 32 by 40 to its lowest form. Now the solution is, first we need to find the HCF of 32 and 40. Now what are the factors of 32? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. What are the factors of 40? 1, 2, 4, 8, 10, 20, 40. So the highest common factor of 32 and 40 is 8. Now we divide 32 divide by 8 and we divide again 40 by 8. You get 4 by 5. Hence 4 by 5 is the lowest form of 32 by 40. Let's see an example. Reduce 12 by 18 to its lowest form. The solution is so the highest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6. Therefore, dividing 12 and 18 by 6, we get 2 by 3. Hence, 2 by 3 is the lowest form of 12 by 18. Now let's learn types of fractions. Fractions are of different types. They can be divided into two main types. Number 1. Like and unlike fractions. Number 2. Proper and improper fractions. Now let's see what are like fractions. Fractions which have same denominators are called like fractions. Example 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 1 by 5. So they are called like fractions. Now let's see what are unlike fractions. Fractions which have different denominators. That's why they are called unlike fractions. For example, 2 by 3, 1 by 6, 3 by 7, 4 by 5. These are unlike fractions. Now let's see what are proper fractions. Fractions where the numerator is less than the denominator. These are called proper fractions. For example, 2 by 13, 1 by 4, 3 by 5, 11 by 13, they are called proper fractions. Now let's see what are improper fractions. Fractions where numerator is greater than or equal to denominator, they are called improper fractions. For example, 4 by 3, 12 by 11, 5 by 4, 6 by 5, these are improper fractions. Unit fractions. Fractions where the numerator is 1, they are called unit fractions. For example, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 3, 1 by 11, 1 by 18. These are unit fractions. What are mixed fractions? Mixed fraction is combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. For example, 1, 2 by 3, 2, 3 by 4, 5, 3 by 7. These are mixed fractions. Let's see a quick tip. You have a picture of the first box is fully colored. The second box, there are three parts colored and one part uncolored. So total number of parts that are colored are how many? 4 plus 3, 7 parts are colored. So you have the numerator there as 7. And box, 4 parts. So you have the denominator as 4. First box can be written as 1, 1 whole plus the next box which has three parts colored, you can write it as 3 by 4. 
So we can also represent this as 1 3 by 4 mixed fractions. Now let's see how conversion of improper fractions into mixed fractions. Let's convert an improper fraction 8 by 5 into a mixed fraction. First, we know how many whole numbers are there in 8 by 5. Let's see the following steps. Step 1. Divide numerator by the denominator. Step 2. On division, you get a quotient of 1 as a whole and the remainder is 3. So in step 3, 8 by 5, it becomes 1, 3 by 5. Let's see one another example. Convert 20 by 7 into mixed fractions. On dividing 20 by 7, you get the quotient as 2 and remainder as 6. So 2 units and 6 by 7 units. It is shown as 2, 6 by 7. So 20 by 7, you get the answer as 2, 6 by 7. Now let's see how to convert mixed fractions into improper fractions. Now convert 3 2 by 3 into improper fraction. Step 1. Multiply the whole number 3 by the denominator of 2 by 3. That is 3 into 3 equals to 9. Step 2. Add this product to the numerator of the proper fraction. That is 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. Now 11 is the numerator of the improper fraction. Step 3. Write a fraction with the new numerator over the denominator that is 3 2 by 3 is equal to 11 by 3. Let's see another example. Convert 5 3 by 7 into improper fraction. Now you multiply 7 by 5 which gives you 35. Then add the numerator 3. 35 plus 3 becomes 38 and the denominator remains the same. So you get the answer 38 by 7. This is an improper fraction. Let's see. Scratch your brain. Problem number one. Florida made 15 cupcakes. She put chocolate flakes on two fifths of them and gems on one third of them. How many cakes are there without gems and flakes? Now, what do you do? Right. Total cakes is equal to 15 cupcakes. Chocolate flakes is equal to 2 by 5. Gems is equal to 1 by 3. Now, to add the two fractions, you need to make the denominators equal. 2 by 5 into 3 by 3. So, 6 by 15 is the chocolate flakes. Write down gems is equal to 1 by 3 multiplied with 5 by 5. So, gems is equal to 5 by 15. Now, you can add the total number of cupcakes that were colored with flakes and gems. 6 by 15 plus 5 by 15 become 11 by 15. Now, the total number of cupcakes are 15. Now, we want to know how many are the cupcakes without gems and flakes. So, you subtract 15 minus 11 will give you 4. So, there are 4 of the cupcakes without gems and flakes. Let's see the next problem. Solve the following. 13 by 15 minus 4 by 15 plus 2 by 15. So you can directly add and subtract the numerators. So 13 minus 4 plus 2 gives you 11. So the answer is 11 by 15. Problem number B. 6 by 13 plus 2 by 13 plus 1 by 13 gives you 6 plus 2 plus 1 gives you 9. 9 by 13 is the answer. Problem number C. 14 by 17 minus 8 by 17 plus 3 by 17. Subtract 14 minus 8 that gives you 6 plus 3 gives you 9. The answer is 9 by 17. Next question number 3. Arpita bought 2 by 4 of a kilogram of carrots and 1 by 4 of a kilogram of cucumber. How much more did carrots weigh than the cucumber? So to know how much more carrots weigh than cucumber, you need to subtract 2 by 4 minus 1 by 4. So the answer is 1 by 4 of a kilogram carrots weigh more than the cucumber. 
the next question a 3 by 4 of 8 months in days now represent 3 by 4 of 8 months is nothing but 6 months now each month is 30 days so 30 days into 6 months will give you 180 days now next one number b 2 by 3 of 60 days in hours 2 by 3 of 60 days is nothing but is equal to 40 days now you have to calculate 40 days in hours so each day is 24 hours so 40 into 24 gives you 960 C one by five of forty five months in days. So one by five of forty five months becomes nine months. Now convert nine months into days. Each month has thirty days. So thirty into nine becomes two hundred and seventy days. And number D one by six of thirty five days in minutes. Now let's see one by six of thirty five days is nothing but thirty five by six. Now let's see. Now each day is twenty four hours. Each hour is sixty minutes. So you convert that is twenty four into sixty gives you one thousand four hundred and forty. Now let's multiply thirty five by six into fourteen hundred and forty, which gives you eight thousand four hundred minutes. Let's understand comparison of fractions. Comparison of like fractions. To compare the like fractions, we compare the numerator. Example: Compare the fractions three by nine and five by nine. Draw two rectangular figures as shown. So, in the above figures, you can clearly see five by nine is greater than three by nine, or three by nine is lesser than five by nine. Let's see another example. Arrange the following fractions in ascending order and descending order. Seven by eight, three by eight, five by eight, one by eight. So the ascending order is one by eight, three by eight, five by eight, and seven by eight. And the descending order is seven by eight, five by eight, three by eight, and one by eight. Now let's see addition of fractions. Addition of like fractions. Example: Add two by five and one by five. Solution: Here, two by five and one by five are like fractions because the denominators are the same. We simply add the fractions. So, two by five plus one by five is equal to three by five. Now, let's see addition of unlike fractions. Example: Add two by five and three by seven. Solution: Here, two by five and three by seven are unlike fractions, so we convert them into like fractions. Find out the LCM of five and seven. That is thirty-five. Now, two by five equals to multiply the numerator and denominator by seven. It gives you fourteen by thirty-five. And you multiply three by seven with five. That gives you three into five. Seven into five gives you fifteen by thirty-five. Now, two by five plus three by seven, which is equal to fourteen by thirty-five plus fifteen by thirty-five. You simply add the numerators. Fourteen plus fifteen. Gives you twenty nine. So the answer is twenty nine by thirty five. Thus, two by five plus three by seven is equal to twenty nine by thirty five. Now let's see subtraction of fractions. Subtraction of like fractions. Example: Subtract five by nine from eight by nine. Solutions: Since the denominator are the same. We simply subtract the numerators. Eight by nine minus five by nine is equal to eight minus five divided by nine. That is equal to three by nine. Now reduce three by nine to the lowest form. So the highest common factor for three and nine are three. So divide both the numerator and the denominator with the HCF. That is three. So this becomes one by three. Thus. Eight by nine minus five by nine gives you one by three. Now let's see subtraction of unlike fractions. Example: Find the difference of six by seven and five by six. Solution: Six by seven and five by six 
are unlike fractions. First, we convert these unlike fractions into like fractions. LCM of 7 and 6 is equal to 42. Take 6 by 7 first. If you multiply both the numerator and the denominator with 6 here is equal to 36 by 42. Take the other fraction 5 by 6. Now multiply this numerator and denominator by 7. So you get 5 by 6 is equal to 35 by 42. Therefore 6 by 7 minus 5 by 6 is equal to 36 by 42 minus 35 by 42. So you just subtract the numerator. 36 minus 35 is equal to 1 by 42. Solving the story problems. Example 1. Aman colored 5 by 8 part of a circle and Amit colored 1 by 8 part of a circle. How much of a circle did they color together? Solution. Aman colored is equal to 5 by 8 of a circle. Amit colored is equal to 1 by 8 of a circle. So you are adding 5 by 8 plus 1 by 8 which is equal to 6 by 8. If you reduce this fraction to the lowest form, 6 by 8 becomes 3 by 4. Example 2. Meghna and Jacob together are working on a painting. Meghna completed 2 by 9 of the painting job and Jacob 5 by 9 of the painting job. What part of the painting is yet to be completed? Solution. Part of painting done by Meghna and Jacob is equal to 2 by 9 plus 5 by 9 which is equal to 7 by 9. Part of the painting that remains to be done is equal to 1 minus 7 by 9. This is equal to, you can make, convert 1 as 9 by 9. 9 by 9 minus 7 by 9 is equal to 2 by 9. Example 3. Diana and Rima started reading their copies of the book Fairy Tales, which they had borrowed from the library. The first day, Diana finished reading 5 by 9th of the book and Rima finished 5 by 8th of the book. Who read more? Solution. Fraction of the book read by Diana is equal to 5 by 9. Fraction of the book read by Rima is equal to 5 by 8. Now we need to compare 5 by 9 and 5 by 8 to know who read more. Here numerators are same. Compare the denominators. 9 is greater than 8. So 5 by 9 is lesser than 5 by 8. Rima read more than Diana. Example 4. The class bulletin board has been divided into seven sections. One section is allotted for English, one section for Math and two sections for Science. The remaining is set aside for other subjects. What fraction of the bulletin board is allotted for other subjects? Solution. Fraction of the board allotted for English is equal to 1 by 7. Fraction of the board allotted for maths is equal to 1 by 7. Fraction of board allotted for science is equal to 2 by 7. So the total board allotted for these three subjects is equal to 1 by 7 plus 1 by 7 plus 2 by 7 which is equal to 4 by 7. So to know what is the fraction allotted for other subject, so 1 minus 4 by 7, you can write it as 7 by 7 minus 4 by 7. The answer is 3 by 7. Fraction allotted for other subjects is equal to 3 by 7. We'll go with the hots. Question number 1. Write the fraction for the unshaded parts. You can see a figure on the right side where equally into many parts and there are 16 parts. There are some shaded and unshaded. So the unshaded parts are there are 9. So unshaded parts fraction is equal to 9 by 16. Now let's go to question number 2. Compare the fractions. One is a mixed fraction and one is the improper fraction. The mixed fraction 3, 5 by 7 converted into a improper fraction. You multiply the denominator with the whole number. That is 7 multiplied by 3 is 21. Then add the numerator. 21 plus 5 is 26. Now, now compare 26 by 7 and 35 by 7. So 35 by 7 is greater than 26 by 7. 
Let's learn some values and life skills. Question 1. Two cats quarreled with each other for a whole pie. The big cat took two third of the whole pie and gave one third of the whole pie to the small cat. But the small cat demanded one half of the whole pie. How much more did the small cat demand? You need to subtract one half of the whole pie minus one third of the whole pie which the cat already got. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. You need to take the highest common factor of the denominator which is 6. Now 2 multiplied by 3 gives you 6. So multiply 3 with the numerator. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. And again 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. So multiply 2 in the numerator again. So 2 3 minus 2 is 1. So we get the answer as 1 by 6. So how much more did the small cat demand? The small cat demanded 1 by 6 of the whole pie more. Now let's go to question 2. Anju walked 4 by 5th of a mile before lunch and 6 by 5th of a mile after lunch. How far did she walk in all? Add 4 by 5 plus 6 by 5 gives you 10 by 5 which is equal to 2. So she walked 2 miles in all. Question number 3. Rashi divided a melon in 28 parts. Kavita ate 1 seventh of them and Sohail ate 1 fourth. What fraction of the melon was left? So let's add 1 by 7 plus 1 by 4. It gives you 11 by 28. Now subtract 11 by 28 from one whole to know how much is left. So 1 divided by 1 minus 11 by 28 gives you 17 by 28. So the fraction of melon that was left is 17 by 28. Enrichment Using division to find fractional part of a whole number. Priya had 8 oranges. She gave half of them to her sister Tina. How many did each of them get? Now, 8 oranges in all. 2 oranges taken. 1 for Priya, 1 for Tina. So, how many oranges are left? 6 left. In the next step, 2 more oranges are taken. 1 for Priya, 1 for Tina. So, how many left? 4 oranges left. Step 3, 2 more oranges taken. 1 for Priya, 1 for Tina. How many left? 2 left. The last step, 2 oranges taken. 1 for Priya and 1 for Tina. 0 left. So, how many does each of them have? 4 and 4. So, half of 8 become 4. Each girl has 4 oranges. You know that you have to find half of 8. This, as you have seen in the picture, is equal to 4. The drawing shows that a group of 2 oranges was taken. Each time, both the girls choose an orange. Taking groups of 2 from 8 until none is left is the same as dividing 8 by 2. That is 8 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Is the same as 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, we conclude that 1 half of 8 is equal to 8 divided by 2 which is equal to 4. Now you can also find 2 by 3 of 6 as shown below. 2 by 3 of 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by the answer of 6 divided by 3 which is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 4 or by writing 2 by 3 of 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 6 divided by 3 which is equal to 12 divided by 3 which is equal to 4 method. You can write directly 1 third of 6 is equal to 2 by thinking that 3 into 2 is 6 and 1 into 2 is equal to 2. You can directly write 3 by fourth of 16 is equal to 12 by working out mentally that 4 into 4 is 16 and 3 into 4 is equal to 12. 